Have you been in contact with those leaders that blame everything on the resources and blame everything on the situation and circumstances? If you are in a leadership position, what kind of leader are you? Are you using only the resources or you are the resourceful leader? Why I say the? Because the resourceful leaders are rare. The majority of leaders, they do good only when they have the resources. If there is a problem, if there is something that it, it was not on the agenda, they don't have experience before with this problem, then they cannot handle it well. So what does it mean if you are a resourceful or the resourceful leader? Being a resourceful person or a leader means the ability to find a quick and smart way or ways to resolve a problem, an issue. So that is the resourceful leader. What kind of leader are you? Do you want to be the resourceful leader? Okay, so how you can be a resourceful leader? When something happens out of ordinary, when a crisis, a big problem happens, be thoughtfully calm. Don't panic. When you panic, you cannot think straightforward. You cannot think about the solutions. But when you are thoughtfully calm, you can think. You can find solutions. You can talk to other people. And it's very important to think creatively. Think out of the box, as people say. But for leaders, actually, they should be out of the box always not inside the box so you are when you are out of the box you think out of the box also and do a team consultation talk to people talk to experts and consider different solutions when you consider different solutions you come up with better ideas and evaluate each solution and then implement the best solution that you and your team and the expert came up with. And then get feedback from people, from those people who were in contact with that problem and the solution. In direct contact, I mean. And give them feedback also. Unfortunately, some leaders, they talk to people, they get the, their feedback, and then they do not provide feedback to the others to say, okay, what happens? And those people who give you solution, who do a consultation with you, then they know what was going on. Then they know if their solution was worthy or not. So give feedback also. And keep records and track the solution and the problem. And when you keep these records, you can teach it later on to other people, to other leaders, to other employees, that they come later. And then you can use this actually to teach others. And when you teach, you learn better. And then you can review it later on with your team, with your employees, with your subordinates, that yes, there was such a problem. And then we got all the resources from us, from our team, from our people, and from the experts. The experts may be from outside of your company or organization. But it's very important to use it. To use those thoughts, those brains, and come up with solution. So when you get a crisis, when you get a big problem, instead of being panicking, think about it creatively and say, okay, this happened now we need to come up with a solution and then talk to people and get a solution for your problem in this way you will become the resourceful leader and hopefully we will have many many 
resourceful leaders in the world in any business in any field in politics in the whole world if you have any question and if you make comment and want to share your story that would be perfect so please share your stories share your comments if you're watching this video on YouTube make the comments in the box the comment box um, if you're watching this video on my website on my blog uh, you can make comment also and you can contact me through my website or directly through this email I'll be glad to assist you and to talk to you about being a resourceful or the resourceful leader thanks so much for watching be the resourceful and the great leader all together through great leadership we can change the world for the betterment of people thank you for watching see you on the next video